Hi, I hope you got your spelling book out and ready to go. Um, we're going to do list 23 today, so write that at the top of your page and number your columns like we do. If you haven't done that yet, pause the video and get that all ready to go. Make sure you have your pencil and red pencil. I'm going to try a blue marker today and see if that shows up better on the video. Our first word is city. I, T, E, so no two-letter phonograms today. What do you think we'll use at the beginning of city for the sound? We have two options, and you've probably seen this word written out enough that you already know it's a C. City, as in Kansas City, where we have school and where most people live, or most of us live. Okay, let's write City. Say the sounds out loud as you're writing. E. E. How are we gonna spell that E sound at the end? Well, it's only one letter, and if it E by itself can say E, but at the end of a word, it's always silent, and it's there for some other reason. So at the end of a word, the E sound is always spelled with a Y. Very good. Does that look like yours? City. How are we going to mark it? Well, which sound is C making? Second sound. It. E. Which sound is the Y making? Y. I. I. E. Fourth sound. What rules are we using here? Hmm. Well, both of these letters that are marked have rules, so Rule 2 says C before E, I, or Y always says, so we have Rule 2, and then the rule for Y is Rule 5, I, N, Y can say I or E at the end of a syllable, but also can say I. And speaking of syllables, how many do we have here? Let's clap and see. City. Two syllables. Where are we going to divide it? S T. So after the I, before the T. Very good. All right. Our second word this week is just a little tricky. Carry. Carry. So let's clap the syllables. Carry. So there are two R's in the middle, and we always do, when you have two consonants the same, you always divide the syllables there. So our first syllable looks like car, but it's not car. It's actually the A saying A ah, and the R saying R. So pick up your pencil. It's going to start with a C because we don't use a K before an A. We only use a K when it's the K sound before E, I, or Y. Okay, so K, A, uh, R, syllable break, K, R, R, so another R, and then the E sound at the end of the word is the Y. So K, R, R. If it helps you to think car-ry, you can do that. But that A is making its first sound, and we don't usually mark first sounds, but we're going to mark the first sound so we know it's not car-ry. Okay? And then again, a 4 over the Y. Number 3 <clears throat> is going to be one of our words for our phonogram, and this week uh, we're going to focus on N, two letter N, and R, two letter R. Do your bear claw, it's just like the letter R, except that it's two letters, R, with the bear claw. Two letter R, and then we'll also look a little bit at the N. Okay, so our First phonogram word is known. Known is something that, or known means you. it's already known. It's something you know, you have known it. 
So, n, two letter n at the beginning. And o, how are we going to spell the o phonogram in this word? Al, o. That's right, o, w. And so we have n, o, well, let's see, n, o, n, just an n at the end. Noun. Okay, let's underline our phonograms. And no special rules for this word. Okay, the next word is er, two letter er, written. A lot of times in the Bible, Jesus says it is written. And he's talking about things that were written in the Old Testament. That he's going to, getting ready to quote. So we're going to start with the WR. Rrr, and then sound out writ ten. Let's clap the syllables first. Writ ten. So we have writ. Syllable break, another T. And then N. Eh. Mm. Say the sounds. Rrr. It and written. Okay, read that word. Very good. Check and make sure yours looks like mine. Okay, now number five is going to be a, an example from our spelling rule. And this week we're still doing rule 22 about plurals. So let's sing that rule. To make a word plural, just add an S, unless the ending makes hissing sounds, or changes completely, or ends with an O. In all of those cases, just add ES. And last week we practiced writing words with S and with ES. This word is going to be one of those that changes completely. So think about the word child, and we want to make it plural. I want to say there are 14 children in my class. There are 15 children in Mrs. Gibbler's class. So how will we spell children? We're going to start with writing child. Ch I O D. There's child. And then we're going to make a plural, so children. So the I changes from, in child, it's making its second sound. In children, it's short. It's making its first sound. So it changes. So remember that rule, I before I or O, before two consonants may say their name, but they don't have to. So sometimes they're often long, but sometimes they're short. All right, children. Just like it sounds. Children. Okay, we're going to mark this phonogram. And we might circle this blend here. And that's an example of rule 22. Make a word plural. Okay, number six is from our book Ferdinand. And hopefully you've read this word enough by now. You know how to spell bull. Let's chop the sounds. B, uh, o. What letter is saying uh here? It's the U. Is that one of its regular sounds? Let's see. Uh, U, uh. Yes, it's making its third sound. Okay, pick up your pencil, say the sounds, and write bull. Let somebody hear you say b, uh, o. Check. Does yours match mine? Read the words you wrote. Bull. Let's mark it. We already said U is making its third sound. We have two L's at the end. Do you remember which rule that is? Rule 17 says we often double L, F, and F at the end of a base word. And number seven is also from Ferdinand. Flowers. Let's chop the sounds. Full. O, it's a blend. O, al, erz, with a long one. 
full hours. Let me do fingers for just the sounds in the first syllable. So we have a blend, full, ow, plow, clap the syllables, plow, ers. So first syllable, pick up your pencil, say the sounds, full, ow, ow, syllable break. Second syllable, ers, er, as in her, and make it plural, flowers. Full hours. There you go. That's our list for today. Practice those, and we will have another video Wednesday.